approaching the door in door-to-door roofing sales. We might have things like a dog or a camera, and we need to know, are we set up for success? How are people going to be perceiving us when they maybe look through that window or pop into that camera, and they want to know who's showing up and what do they want? Because I want you to think of this right now. Do an exercise with me, and do me a favor. If you're driving, don't do this. Close your eyes and think of this. It's 5.30 at night. It's Tuesday night. You just got home from work a little early. You grabbed an early dinner with the family. After dinner, you sit down on the couch, you're hanging out, and then all of a sudden you hear it. Rap, 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 rap at your door. What are the two things that come through your mind? Number one, you get up, you look at your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, kids, and you say, hey, who's that? Is anyone expecting anything? So immediately you think, who is it? And then as you get up and you walk to go answer that door, you're thinking, what do they want? So now that we know exactly what people are thinking, we can use this to then approach the door in the best way possible. So before we get to it, just want to say a quick welcome or welcome back. My name is Adam Benzman, the Roof Strategist. And everything I do here on this channel is designed to help you and your team smash your income goal and give every customer an amazing experience. And if you haven't yet done it, there's a link in the video description to get a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library with an entire playlist on canvassing, approaching the door, body language, and psychology. So click right now and download your free copy. And if you're on the road or able to text, you can text the word free F-R-E-E, over to 303-222-7133, and we'll instantly text you a link back to just make it really easy for you to get in there. All right, now let's get started. Approaching the door. So let's take a look at what we got here. On this door, we've got a big window, which you can see pretty much through the house. We've got a camera up there. So we know that that person or homeowners, and especially, look at this, walking up to the door, we've got these windows right here. So we know if we pull up or walk into this house, we've got people that could be seeing us here. We're going to be approaching the door. And we've got, again, we got the camera. We got the window. So we need to know someone saying, who is it? What do they want? Now, number one, we need to walk up with assertiveness. Write that down, being assertive, meaning you're showing up on purpose. You're not looking around being like, oh, is it okay that I'm here? Second guessing yourself and looking fishy. You gotta show up on a mission, okay? That's number one. Number two, what you need to do is smile. So many people, every time we're doing these events, I just got back from a few Owens Corning events here. We're doing two or three a week. And every time we get up to a role play, everyone's really straight faced and very, very stern. And I'm like, just smile, we're in sales. If I walked up to this door as a stranger like this, on a mission, right? I'm here to serve. Or like this, who's going to feel more welcoming and warm? So remember to just smile. Remember, people are seeing you before you see them. All right, so that's number two. Number three, you want to acknowledge anywhere that they might be looking. So if you see that little thing up there, one of the first things that I'm going to do is acknowledge that camera. I'm going to give it a little wave. Why? It's going to show that I'm confident. It's going to show that I'm assertive and that I'm here for a reason. And I acknowledge them. If I see windows like right here, this little pup staring at me, I'm going to look right in that window and say, hey, you know, hey, maybe someone's coming behind it. People in the house know the dog's at the window, the dog's at the door, someone might be there. So I'm going to come in assertively. Now, the other thing is if I have something in my hand, which, all right, let's be real. Some people say show up empty handed. Otherwise, you look like a solicitor. Other people like to show up with something. I don't really feel strongly one way or another. What I want is for you to feel comfortable. What I did is I always had my notepad and or clipboard or folio with me because it showed that I was professional. I was there for a reason and I could take notes if I needed to. But if I have my door hangers, like the letters that I include in my marketing battle pack that are folded up, I'm going to hold that up in case they're not home to show that I'm there for a reason, pique their curiosity. If they check that ring, because guess what else is happening? As I show up right here, I am now on the front and that camera is right there. The person's phone is likely dinging with a human's been noticed on camera, movement detected. So when I see that and I know that that camera is going to be checked later if they're not home, I'm going to hold up my little door hanger letter on purpose. So when I approach the door and I tape it to the door, when they get home, they saw the video already, then they see that there's a higher likelihood of them ringing it. So again, we want to acknowledge that ring doorbell and we want to acknowledge the window anywhere that they might be seeing us. Now, final piece is, what do we see right here? I know this is a unique situation, but we got a doorbell. We got a doorbell right here. Do I want to ring that bell? No, I don't, because then people can answer it from away. We already know that they got the notification from the camera on movement. So instead, what I want to do is use a knock. And do I want to just, no, I want to really make them curious. Right? Personal. Then I'm going to step back and I hear them. Dogs are going. Everyone's alerted that I'm here. 
I gotta go. That's all for this video. Hey, if you liked it and you want more, click right here, download a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro video training library, or hop in right here. YouTube thinks you're gonna love this video. We'll see you in the next one.